Hey plant gang, uh, I'm standing in front of this uh, plant in September uh, that is not in full bloom but will still has sporadic blooms. Uh, this is referred to as the Mexican petunia, Ruellia simplex. Uh, now uh, this plant is native uh, to uh, uh, the southern parts of North America, uh, but it really has naturalized a lot in the southeast uh, and kind of expanded its range, in particular where it's been planted in wet areas. Uh, in a rain garden type situation, uh, you have to watch out for this plant because it can spread out quite aggressively. And so you want to do, you want to plant it in particular in wet areas and areas where you know you can ensure containment. Uh, but you can see beautiful foliage standing up tall, beautiful purple blooms. Uh, this is a herbaceous perennial that will die back down uh, for us in the winter time. But one that has grown uh, throughout, in particular the southeastern United States, uh, sometimes even showing up on some invasive plant lists. Uh, but one you should know, one you should be able to identify. So Ruellia typically uh, listed as hardy from zones 8 through 10, uh, but I'm going to tell you I have seen it uh, survive fairly comfortably uh, in zone 7. Uh, this is actually grown in some cases as an annual plant uh, in zones 5, zone 6, and so you'll use this uh, plant being used in different situations really depending on uh, where you're growing it. Uh, can get three to four foot high. Uh, one plant can spread out uh, three foot and beyond. Uh, really depending on where you're at and where you're growing it, if it's happy, it will continue to spread. So there is considerable confusion about the correct specific epitaph uh, to use for this plant. And I think it's had something like five different uh, specific epitaphs associated with it. Uh, and right now, uh, it's uh, considered most proper, I think, to call it uh, Ruellia simplex, which is actually uh, the, the very first uh, specific epitaph that was given to it. And so now considered uh, correct because that one gets a little bit priority. Here's a landscape tip. Ex excellent annual flowering plant for areas where it is not winter hardy. For USDA zones 8 through 10, it may be effectively grown in bog gardens or on the margins of ponds.